Before we head into the video guys, I would like to give a big shout out to FM Mobile. If you guys need any tips on how to improve your team, any tactic guides or any wonder kids uh, you want to look out for, as well as uh, logo packs, uh, this is the website to check out. What is going on guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be looking at the top 5 uh, wonder kid goalkeepers from the database of Football Manager Mobile 2018. Now all of the players that I've gathered are from the FM Mobile uh, website so please check them out in the description and without further ado let's get into it. So first of all we have uh, first goalkeeper shortlisted is Gianluigi Donnarumma. This is on a new uh, database, I mean sorry this is a new game uh, save game file. So what I've done is made a new game um, to see the players fresh and then I made there I have another career which is like five six years later to see the development of them. So we have John uh, Gianluigi Donnarumma. He is a goalkeeper, 18 years old, very young. He has he is 23 a million rated at the moment in pounds uh, for his such young age. That is decent. He's got 108 k contract uh, and that is also very high for a young goalkeeper. Let's look at his stats real quick. He's got good aerial uh, statistics, 16. So the max is 20 for each statistic. Um, so agility is 16 again which is very good he's gonna to need to come out of his box and uh, clear out balls if his defenders are not fast enough his communication could do some work and he only has 10 communication his handling is also good his kicking is always all right his reflexes are also very good uh, which means he's gonna be fast enough to uh, save shots from a top from tough positions his technique could do some work his aggression is not very high which could also be good because he might not make rush uh, tackles which may result into penalties his creativity isn't so good either so he might uh, lose he might make wrong passes if he can't spot out uh, the right teammates his de decisions uh, decision making is all right it's 14 leadership 12 throwing 11 could do some work uh positioning 12 uh, could be boosted up but this is uh He's still very young. His teamwork's 15 as well. His pace is 10. Stamina's 13 and strength is 15, which is good. You will need to be a strong goalkeeper, especially when he comes out to punch uh, balls out for the corners. So now we're going to take a look at his development. We're going to step like five, six years later. Let's see how his player has improved. Okay, guys. So this is um, where he was before. It was 2017. Now it's 2022. So there is a five gap uh Five year gap to see the development of the players. So let's uh, start off with ja uh, Donnarumma. So he was he was only on a few caps for Italy when we last looked at him, and now he's on an 83 million rating. His contract is I think it's still the same as it was 170 or maybe just like a bit lower by uh, 10,000 pounds. He is 22 years old, guys. Still pretty pretty young, and look at these statistics. So look at his aerial abilities: 18, agility 16, which is beautiful. Communication has improved much more than since we last saw him. His handling and kicking both 17. His reflexes at 19. This makes this guy outstanding. Technique also still low. Aggression also low and creativity is also low. I think it stayed the same as it was last time. Decision making however has gone up. Leadership has gone up. Throwing and positioning has uh, I think gone up by a bit. Teamwork um, is 15 now which is good. Pace is 10, stamina is 15, and strength is 17. So uh, this guy has an ra average rating of 7.28. Uh, so let's look at his history. So he has played over 200 games, 250 games for uh, the club now. He is conceding less than he's playing, which is good. And um, so overall, he is probably one of the best goalkeepers to sign as a wonder kid. This guy has improved majorly. So let's see the other goalkeeper. Welcome back, guys. Now looking at the second wonder kid goalkeeper from Foot Manager Mobile 2018. We have Ruben Blanco. He plays for Celta Vigo uh, when you start a new career. And let's check his statistics real quick. Actually, let's check his history. Uh, so he hasn't played that many games. Well, he has 81 games in total for the club. But recently he has been he has been playing a lot of games. So let's see his uh, uh, statistics. So 14 aerial, which is all right. He is 21 years old, by the way. He has 15.75k contract, uh, and he is valued at 11 million. He is Spanish. His agility is 16. His communication could be improved. He's only eight. His handling is decent for such a young goalkeeper. His kicking is all right. His reflexes is 14. Technique also bad. Aggression is nine. Quite high to be honest. His creativity is not so good. His decision making is all right. Fourteen. Uh, leadership nine. Throwing uh, is ten. Positioning is nine. 
and teamwork is 11. His pace is quite high for a goalkeeper, 12, uh, compared to G uh, Donnarumma. His stamina and strength, however, are very weak, so it could stop him from punching out balls correctly. He might get uh, pushed down by defend by, uh, by the attacking opposition. It might result in them scoring goals, so they this, he could lose points for his team. Anyway, guys, uh, now let's head. So overall, basically, this is a decent card. I mean, a decent player for you guys to get. Uh, let's look at the other goalkeepers we have. All right, guys. So the next shortlist go shortlisted goalkeeper. Sorry, is let's see. Got a few over here. Okay, so the next one was I think. Let's check the list real quick. So it was. Ruben Blanco, where is he? There he is. So Ruben Blanco, I don't think there was much uh, change. He still plays for Celta Vigo. And this is only because no big club has signed him. So he really did not have a chance to develop. However, his statistics have gone up. So his aerial and agility 16, which is good for his rating. He's on 9 million right now. Uh, communication 13, handling 14, kicking 13, reflexes 16, which is very good for his rating and uh, value. Technique is 8. Uh, aggression is 9, which is a bit high. Uh, creativity is 6. Decision. So creativity is quite high for him. Because uh, I think uh, Donnarumma honey are like 3 for creativity. So decision 16, which is good. Leadership is 13. Decent. Throwing is 11. And positioning is 10. Teamwork 11. Then pace is 12, which is alright. Stamina is 13. And his strength could do with a bit improvement. So he still is uncapped for Spain. However, he has played over 200 games for Celta Vigo. So this is very good. He has a lot of experience. However, he does tend to concede more than he plays. So he has a, a negative uh, goal conceded to games played ratio. So that may not be too good. Remember, guys, you can still sign him. But he has not signed for a big club or a decent club. So he has not had the chance to develop properly. Let's look at the next player. Now the next goalkeeper we have is Simon Scafet. He has been a wonder kid for a couple of editions now of football manager. He's always been talked about highly. He is Italian. He's uh, rated at 9 million. Uh, he's got a 12.75k contract and he is 21 years old. He's uncapped by Italy yet. But if you sign him and he plays good for your team, he, that could change very fast. So le let's see his statistics. So aerial 12, agility 14, communication 10. Handling 13, uh, kicking is 12, reflex is 13, technique 7, aggression 8, which is alright, creativity very very low, uh, decision 13, leadership and throwing 9 and 6, also low, positioning is decent for his uh, age and uh, rating, his teamwork is 12, pace is 10, stamina is 13, and strength is uh, 13, so uh, overall this is a Decent goalkeeper, um, if you need him, especially for maybe a lower league table, I mean lower lower league club, he will be doing great. Let's see his history. He's played 59 games so far. Recently, he did go on loan to Como where he did play 35 games, but the database has not registered how many he has conceded, so we don't know that yet, but only time will tell if you guys save him. So now let's look into his development uh, card uh, a few years later. Okay, guys, so now we have Simon Scafet again. He has... Seven caps for Italy now, zero goals obviously, he has aged quite a bit, he is 25 years old, his rating, ha I mean his value has gone up I think, by a bit, he's on 13 million rating, let's look at his uh, history quick, real quick, he also has played over 200 games, however he also has a negative games played to goals conceded ratio, so that, that might not be too good. Oh, where is he? There he is. So his agility, I mean, his area is 13, agility 14, communication 15, handling 13, kicking 13, reflexes 15, which is quite good. Uh, technique uh, could be, could have some work done on it. Aggression is uh, quite low. Uh, creativity of very low. Two decisions, all right, 15. Le leadership is 13. Throwing is 8. Positioning is 16. Teamwork 13. Pace 10, stamina is quite good, 15, his strength could do some improving on, he's only 13, might stop him from clearing out those corners, uh, but his average rating is 7.23, so he's not too far off what uh, Donnarumma had, I think, or actually Ruben Blanco or whatever, but yeah, so he is a decent player, guys, he has stayed at Udinese, uh, he has not moved to a bigger club, so he has not had a chance to develop properly, um, so that could have, he could have been like maybe 60 million right now. You never know. He could have been really high rated and valued, 
but he has not had a chance to move abroad to another club and develop. So let's look at the next uh, goalkeeper. What is going on, guys? And welcome back to another goalkeeper. Um, so now we have Alex Merritt. He is also Italian, so quite a lot of Italian so far uh, from the Wonderkill list. He's valued at 9.5 million. He's on an 8K contract, and he is on a, um, on a loan to Spau. He originally plays for Udinese. Udinese? I don't know you say it. Uh, he is Italian, 20 years old, which is quite young. Let's look at his statistics. He's got 15 aerial, which is very good considering his rating and value. He's got good agility, so that's going to help him save uh, save uh, shots, which are very powerful and quick. He will have quick reaction for it. So, and um, communication, 11, could be improved, but his handling makes up for it. He's got beautiful handling. Remember, guys, 20 is the max digit they could have for each statistic. His kicking, not so well. It could stop the team from having good counterattacks if he cannot kick properly. His reflexes are very good, which means he can save uh, shots quickly from short range. Um, <clears throat> that could uh, keep his team in the title for the race. In the race for the title, sorry. His technique, his technique is not so good. His aggression is quite low. Creativity, very, very low. His decision is 13. Leadership, 10. Throwing, 9. Positioning, 11. And teamwork is 14. His pace and stamina strength are all rated at 10. So overall, this is a decent card. He could work as a backup goalkeeper until he gets of age, maybe 22, 23 years old. Then that's when he will start showing his full, full potential. Don't expect any wonders from this guy in the first season. And uh, let's head straight into a few years later to see how the player has developed. Next up, we have Alex Merritt. Um, he plays for Sevilla now. I think he got transferred. Let's see. Yeah, he... I think... Yeah, he did get transferred to Sevilla. So when we last saw him, he played for Udinese. And he was on uh, loan. And... Uh, yeah, so now he is 7.75 million rated on a wage of 49k per week. He is 24 and uh, he is still uncapped for Italy. So his aerial and agility both 16, which is very good for uh, his uh, rating and value. His communication could do some work on his only 11. His handling is very good though, 16. Kicking, not so good. Might stop him from giving good balls out to his teammates on the wings, maybe for a, counter, a potential counter-attack. His reflexes, however, make up for it. He has 17 reflexes, which is which is uh, his highest uh, statistic out of all of them so far. His technique could do some improving on. It's only 8. His aggression is quite low. Creativity, low once again. Decisions, 14. Leadership, 12. Throwing, 10. Positioning, 12. Teamwork, 14. Pace, 10. Stamina, 11. And strength, 11. So overall... Uh, once again, this player did move to another club this time, so maybe give him a couple more years and he could turn out to be a really uh, world class. However, Sevilla are not really like a trophy club, so he could, um, that could hinder his uh, improved development, sorry. But it's still a good signing, he has, however, he has a low average rating of 6.91, so that could stop him from producing good, but he, in the recent games, he's produced a form of 8 out of 10, so it's not that bad. He could be a good signing, guys, you should try him out. Welcome back, guys, and let's look at the last but not least goalkeeper, Alban Lafont. So as you can tell from his last name, Lafont, it does sound French, he's an 18-year-old, uncapped French goalkeeper, he does play for Toulouse. And he's on a 6.5 million uh, value and 8.25k rating I mean, uh, wage. Sorry. So let's look at his statistics real quick. Actually, let's look at his past. Uh, so he's played 60 games for the club so far at 18 years old. That is not bad. However, his statistics do look a bit low. So let's head into it. So he is the same age as Donnarumma. Let's see how his statistics stack up against the. Uh, other Italian so his aerial is not so good it's 13 his agility is it's, I mean actually his aerial and agility 13 12 is all right considering his uh, rating and value his communication could do some work and he will need to communicate with his teammates to uh, let them know when they can clear the ball or when they should leave it to him his handling and his so his handling is 13 which is all right kicking is 12 reflexes is very good um, technique 8 could do some work on that aggression is low which could be a good thing uh, creativity is 6, which is lower, I mean higher than what I've seen from the other goalkeepers. His decision making is 13, leadership 8, throwing 11, positioning 12, teamwork 11, uh, pace is 11, which is quite good. Stamina, 
13. And strength is 13, which is all right. And remember, this guy is a wonder kid, so he will most likely show his potential within the next few years. And um, let's head in to see how the player has developed within the next few years. And now, guys, we have Alban Lafont. So he has decreased a lot, I think. Actually, he still plays for Toulouse. Once again, guys, he has not signed for a bigger club, so there was no way he could really develop into a, a potential world-class player. Um, he's on a value of 3.9 million, which is not too good. He's on an 8k per week uh, contract. He's 22 years old, guys. He has... So his statistics... Wait, let's see his um, history. So he has played over 170 games. Uh, his area was 13, agility 12, communication 6, handling 13, kicking 13, uh, reflexes which is alright, 15. Uh, technique however is poor, aggression is low as well, creativity is higher than the other players, so that's a, that's a good sign. His decisions 13, leadership 8, throwing 11, positioning 12, teamwork 12, pace 11, stamina, strength both 13. So overall... Uh, this is probably one of the lowest rating goalkeeper out of the five we've seen so far. Uh, he has an average rating per game, sorry, overall of 6.78. But yeah, but that's what it means per game, 6.78. However, recently he's produced performances of no lower than 7, which is alright, depending. But once again, he did not have a chance to move abroad to expand his development. So guys, you can sign any of these players. And um, also let me know in the comments down below if these players have worked out for you. And uh, maybe you could uh, go on my Twitter and send me a screenshot of how your uh, how these goalkeepers have developed. And I would very much like to see. And um, yeah. Uh, it's been your boy, Andrew Game. I mean, <laughs> Chris to Chris. Sorry, I was moving to my other name. Still kind of used to it. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video.